Uh, yes, hello. This is Lucy Ko. Um, I really could use your help right away. Would that be possible? You hear from Sonny? No. Have you? Nada. Which is a little odd. He was supposed to be here two hours ago. Did he, uh, did he happen to send the checks with you? What checks? As in paychecks. Uh, he's sending over the payroll. Oh, no, no, don't, don't count on that. Well, <laughs> mine's spent already. Oh, I could, I could float you alone, Mike, no hurry. All right, Jason, what, what's going on here? Look, uh, I was out of line earlier at the hospital. We all have the same concerns here. I'll be in back. Jason, please, we need your help. We believe that Brenda and Sonny are in trouble. Why? Take a look at this. It just, it just says they're running away together, like I said. You knew? It's not the message. Look at the letters. The start of each line, what it reads is help. They're separated, deliberately, just slightly. Well, you know, maybe it is a message. Maybe it's an accident. What, a coincidence? Well, maybe you should call the police. I already have. They don't move fast enough. Look, Sonny and Brenda could be dead before they get anywhere near them. Think, damn it. Somebody already tried to murder Sonny. They used Brenda as bait. Now, Sonny just dropped everything to run to where he thought she was. I mean, doesn't he have, like, an appointment today or something? Isn't he, like, expected anywhere? He was supposed to bring over the payroll. Jason, what... When, when, did, when did you get this? Last night, that's why a rough job at the hospital. Well, we hadn't figured out the message yet. <sighs> All right, look. The last time I saw Sonny, he was at the police station. What? Yeah, Taggart was on his case again. Tagger. He knows something. You find him. Give it on. Scorpio. Jack's here. Listen, I was right about the letter. Brenda's been abducted along with Sonny. Your man Taggart might be holding out. Where are you? At Luke's. Stay there. We'll make it fast. Okay, we've got an APB out on Brenda and Sonny. But now? Now it's official. Unofficially, we've been on this since last night. What else have you got? Take a look. The Dear John letter, I've seen this. This is your proof of abduction? <sighs> Take another look. The first letter of each line. H-E-L-P. Sonny was due here hours ago, man. What do you know about this? Well, I know Sonny took off like a shot from the police station, Mac. You were there. And I also know there's this bald guy who wants him out of commission. If you need more, ask him. I did. Yeah, that's right, anger man. And I'm asking you again. <sighs> Look, you brought Corinthos in after you were taken off the case. You sat him down and literally watched him sweat before I showed up and pulled you off. Now, I want to know what went down before I got there and what you think made him run. I told you, Commissioner, nothing unusual, except for that phone call. Oh. I told you, Corinthos got a call and made him antsy. And you didn't follow it up? You didn't check it out? You didn't try to trace the call? You're taking me off the case, Commissioner. Well, that never stopped you before. Okay. I traced the call through a phone company. Apparently, it was made on a cell phone. The owner was a florist. Greenery Inc. Never heard of it. Uh, fun. Yeah, well, it's not good news. Port Charles Greenery Incorporated doesn't exist. The address is a vacant lot. Oh, so there's no way of telling who called Sonny. Or even if it was about Brenda. Yeah, but Sonny would not have taken off like that for any other reason. Maybe he was on a business trip, Mike. Oh, come on. As far as we know, Sonny is still in town. Look, we're tracing the cab, we're tracing the cab that Sonny took from the police station. If we can find out where it dropped it, we'll have a better idea where to look. An idea? Brenda's life is on the line here. It has been for weeks. Well, you've been sitting on your hands so damn Jax. worried about offending Jax. your good friend. He's trying. Apparently the power went out in the penthouse for about an hour. 
The rest of the hotel wasn't affected. Brendan never reported the problem. Yeah, I guess she was too busy being kidnapped. What I'm trying to tell you, Jax, is that whoever is doing this is very good. They're going to be hard to trace, so get a grip. Screaming and yelling isn't going to get Brenda back any faster. I think Jason might. If Corinthos had any idea who was stalking Brenda, then he would have told him. We have an APB on Jason, but don't get your hopes up. And if Sonny knew who was after Brenda, it would have never gone this far. Do you hear yourself, Mac? The man is a criminal. Now, he brought this down on Brenda, and you're acting like it was his problem to solve. Look, in case you haven't heard, my son has disappeared, too. Now, whoever's doing this is after him. Yeah, it was just too damn bad they didn't take care of him before he endangered my wife. You know, I've just about had it. Listen, I've had it out of the two of you, all right? If you can't help, I'm going to send you home and wait. Scorpio. Yeah, I'm in interrogation three. They found Jason. He was fighting with someone. You think it's a lead? We're gonna find out. In here. What have you got? Found him in an alley off Third Street. Mr. Franklin was on the ground. Mr. Morgan was kicking him. I'm the victim of an assault. Tell me about it when I want to listen. Did Mr. Morgan give an explanation? He hasn't opened his mouth. All right, I'll take it from here. Good work. What about me? I want these cuffs off. Sit. Who's she? Your lead detective? Shut up. Does this have something to do with Sonny? Jason? He knows who made the call. What call? I, I don't know what he's talking about. You sure? Kid's a mental case. I want to press charges. You're going to be facing charges if you don't shut up. How did you find him? He's a scumbag loan shark. When you said poor Charles Greenery Incorporated, I remember someone who used him before. Who? Uh, I know someone from California, but that has nothing to do with this. He fronts for whoever pays him. He owns the phone so he knows who placed the call. I'm telling you, he's nuts. No, he's not. Where's my wife? Get him off me! Get him off me! Get off! Get off! That's two assaults in one day. You better get used to it. Who's got your phone, Mr. Franklin? What phone? I still don't know what you're asking me. Think harder. Mr. Jack's wife disappeared, along with Mr. Corinthos, who got a phone call from your cellular phone right before he vanished. I want to know who made that call. And if you can't tell me, I just might put you in a holding tank with uh, Mr. Morgan and Mr. Jax here and see if they can't get it out of you. That's a violation of my civil rights. Huh. If you've had anything to do with my wife's abduction, then civil rights are the least of your worries. Mr. Jax has got a point. Not to mention how upset Mr. Corinthos business associates are going to be when they find out what you did. He never said he was going after Sonny. Who? Harry Silver. All he said was he wanted a phone. He never mentioned anything about Sonny, I swear. Harry. Who's he? Sonny's right-hand man. I stopped seeing him. From the time that Lily died. Jason, what do you know about Harry? When did he stop working for Sonny? Look, if he's after him, you have to tell us. Look. This thing is too big for you to handle alone. Sonny would want you to do what you had to to save him and Brenda. Harry sold Sonny out to Rivera. He's the reason Lily died. Harry gave Rivera some wrong information and Rivera set the bomb. Now, the only reason Sonny let Harry go is because Lily liked him. Now, if Harry came back, he has to be crazy as hell to show up here. How crazy? He killed Sonny's wife. Then he could kill mine, too. Where do we find him? He's got an office in Greenfield. 
Back of a warehouse on Archer Street. It's been there since October. At least that's the first time he contacted me. I'm gonna make this real clear. The only person I need here is Jason, because he knows Harry and he knows what to look for. The rest of you are here on this little tour out of a courtesy. So do as you're told, when you're told, or I swear I'll have you in a squad car in handcuffs if necessary. Is that understood? Sure, man. Go ahead. Kick it. All right, tear the place apart. We're looking for records, credit card receipts, anything that'll tell us where Sonny is. Jason, come on in, have a look around, see if anything's familiar. What about us? Come in, just don't get in the way. Oh, my God. What? I told you this wasn't about Sonny. The man's trying to hurt my wife, Mac. We gotta find him. That's what we're trying to do. Wait a minute, I got something. What? Looks like some kind of letter to Lily. Let me see. Read it out loud. Jason, listen for anything familiar. You guys keep looking. What are these numbers? That looks like some sort of distribution schedule. Well, the person behind the drugs wanted Sonny dead. Maybe that was Harry, too. Well, you don't think you did to Brenda what he did to Sonny, shoot her up? Just read it. Read it or I will. Dear Lily, you won't understand this. You want me to spare him, but I can't. He has to pay for what he did. You gave him everything, and he threw you away for his... whore. He killed you to be with Brenda. She wore a wire. She wanted him in prison, and you saved him. You shouldn't have. Sonny deserved to die, screaming and afraid, with Brenda beside him. She won't be brave, Lily. She'll beg when she's in the dark, hidden away forever. Down deep like you. It's where she belongs. For what she did, and Sonny's going to watch her die. This goes on forever and ever. It... What the hell does he mean, down in the dark? I, I don't know. Jason, look, take a look. See if uh, Harry mentions anything concrete. A place, something connected with Sonny. Never occurred to Sonny this maniac was running around loose? Harry wasn't crazy when he worked for him. Scorpio. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. All right. Jason, the cab dropped Sonny at Maine and Federal. Does that mean anything to you? Maybe. I don't know. Harry, Harry keeps saying he's going to do to Sonny and Brenda what they did to Lily. I mean, how it's not fair that, she, that she's in the ground. He can, he can mean the caves. But the catacombs? Well, no, not, not the ones by the river north of town. I mean, there's an entrance in this field. North? North, yeah, right, right near Maiden Fennel, within a mile or so. You're sure Harry knows about him? Yeah, Sonny does, too. There's some kind of mob hangout? A place they both know, Jax. Look, who cares as long as we find them? Look, Harry is going to know we're coming. The tunnel echoes so it's easy to keep watch. How many entrances? One. But when we find him, he can't go anywhere. No, not we. Listen, you can go back to the station and wait there if you want, but I can't take you to the site. The hell you can. It's my wife, Mac. And I've got a hostage situation here, and the man with the gun is obviously unstable. I don't want family and friends hanging around. We're, you know, we're going, Mac. It's not up for debate. Now, where's the field? I'll take you. You don't know the address. Mac, I said I'll take you. We're going, Mac. Now, I can't speak for everyone here, but my son's life is on the line. And I have every right to be there. All right. All right, but the same rules apply. You do what you're told when you're told. If we're going to get Sonny and Brenda out of this alive, I've got to know that you're not going to get in the way. 
All right, listen. Radio ahead. Tell them we're on our way. I want two squad cars and a SWAT team. Mr. Morgan will show us the way. Thank you. 